Hello, hello, grade tens. Welcome back to the channel, Science Therapy, hosted by the one and only science therapist, Uabudewa Sos Ukobela Wemet. And without any further ado, let's look at these questions that we have here. Okay, so we have question 11. It says the circuit diagram shows a circuit consisting of a battery of negligible resistance. And then we are told that two ammeters also of negligible resistance, uh, three resistors and two high resistance voltmeters. The reading on A1 is one MPS, right? So one ampere. So it's one ampere. Then 11.1 .1 says define the term electric current. So 11.1 .1 is say electric current is the rate of flow of charges right and then 11.2 says complete the following sentence by filling in the missing weights resistors in series divide so resistors in series we know that it divides what divides the potential difference or the voltage can say it divides the potential difference or the voltage because remember resistors in series we call them voltage dividers or potential difference dividers and resistors in parallel they do what they divide uh, they divide the current right so resistors in parallel we say they are current dividers right then we have 11.3 says calculate 11.3.1 Calculate the effective resistance of the parallel combination of resistors. The what? The parallel combination of resistors. So what are we supposed to do there? That's 1 over Rp is equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Right. Then which ones are in parallel? We have 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12. Right. And then uh, when we calculate these ones, uh, adding those up, we get one over four. So one over RP uh, is equals to one over four. Now our RP is equals to four ohms. Right. OK, then 11.3.2 uh, says calculate the total resistance of the circuit. So that becomes easy now that we have uh, the effective resistance of the parallel combination because to calculate total resistance that's rp plus rs now what is the resistance of the parallel combination that's four but then the only resistor in a in series is this resistor here which has a resistance of 18 ohms so if we say four plus 18 we get 22 so our total resistance is 22 ohms so you could see that is only for two marks right and then okay now 11.3.3 says the amount of charge passing through a meter a1 uh, is it a1 a2 a2 in five seconds so not a1 a2 and then okay now in order to calculate that one so uh, the amount of charge passing in a2 in five seconds remember we have we've been given that a uh, the charge we've been given that the charge that flows in here is a uh, one ampere right but then we want the one in a2 so how can we calculate that one okay let's uh, find out now so to calculate 11.3.3 we will first uh, start by calculating the voltage right here right so let's calculate the voltage right there and then this is going to give us 11.3.3. That's a V is equals to I multiplied by R, right? If we can calculate the voltage of the 6 ohm resistor, that's 1 multiplied by R, which is 6. So that's a 6 volts, right? So that's 6 volts. Okay, so now we are going to use uh, this 6 volts here to calculate the current in the parallel circuit we have to have v parallel over r parallel but then remember 
if we were calculating the voltage in the 6 ohm resistor, that's 6 volts here and then that's 6 volts. Why is it so? Because we said uh, the resistors in parallel, the voltage is the same throughout, but then the current is the one that is being divided, right? So remember the 1 ampere is only the current that flows where? In the 6 ohm resist. So now we are trying to get the total current that it flows in the parallel branch. Right. So the VP is 6 and then the RP, uh, we did calculate, we got what? 4 from the previous question when we are calculating 11.3.1. Remember, we got 4 ohms. Right. So now if we say 6 divided by 4, that's going to give us 1.5 MPS. Now the 1.5 MPS is the current that flows in the whole parallel circuit. So when you take the current for the 6 ohm plus the current that flows in the 12 ohm, you get 1.5 MPS, which means if this one is 1 ampere, if we had to have an ammeter reading somewhere here, it will match as 0.5 MPS. Now the 0.5 in the 1 ampere is the one that is giving you 1.5 MPS. But why are we concerned about calculating uh, the current in the parallel circuit when what we are looking for is right here? Right. So now you might think we are diverting from the question, but then this is what we are trying to use. We know that the current that flows in the total uh, in the whole circuit, the, the current totally is equal to the current in the series, but then the current in the series is equal to the current in the whole parallel combination, the whole parallel branch. So when we add the 1 MP and the 0 0.5 MP, we get 1.5 MPS. We know that this is the same current collectively that will be flowing in what? In ammeter A2. And this is the same current that will be flowing in the, uh, in the resistor that is connected in series, right? So we are getting that from I total is equals to IS is equals to IP. So which is why we were trying to get the current in the parallel combination. So now that we have the current in the parallel combination, we know that also here it's 1.5 MPS. Now with that, we can now calculate the amount of charge passing through the ammeter in what? In five seconds. We know the formula that we are supposed to use is I is equal to Q over change in T. What is the current in A2? We now know that it is equal to 1.5. Then we're going to say Q. The five seconds is in the desired SI unit. It's in seconds. So we're just going to put 5 there. And then now what is 1.5 multiplied by 5? Uh, that is going to give us 7.5 coulombs. Remember, charges are given in coulombs. So you just have to understand uh, what needed to be done there. So it's it's uh, looking at the, the amount of marks that we are given. So that was uh, pretty necessary for us to go all the way like that. Remember, with five mark question, I normally say that it's not the difficulty of the question. It's just that there is a process into arriving to the final answer. So the process was we needed to first get the voltage of the six ohm resistor so that we can get the current of the parallel branch since we know that the voltage is the same throughout a parallel branch, then now that we got the current in the parallel branch, we used that current uh, on this one here because the current in the parallel branch is equal to the current in the series. So we use that one to get uh, the charge on A2. Right, then uh, let's proceed. 11.4 says, how does the potential difference across the 6 ohm resistor compared to the potential difference across the 12 ohm resistor. Now they're asking that question. We know that uh, the answer here is supposed to be equal to, as we saw here, we said this is 6 volt, and then also this one needs to be 6 volts. Why? Because uh, for resistors that are connected in parallel, we say the potential difference is the same throughout because uh, resistors in parallel only divide the current. So they only divide the current, but the, the, the what you call the voltage is always the same. So our answer for 11.4 should be equal to. And then now they want you to explain that for two marks. So all you say is that resistors, resistors in parallel uh, work under the same, work under the same potential difference. Work under the same potential difference.
so you say the potential difference you can even put it like this the potential difference across parallel resistors is always the same or always constant then a uh, 11.5 says if the 6 ohm resistor bends out the 6 ohm resistor bends out so this is what you want to do if they tell you that something is bending out then you just want to erase it there so that means you won't have this part you won't have that part so it's not there right so okay now they're saying if the 6 ohm resistor bends out uh will the total resistance of the circuit increase decrease or remain the same will it increase decrease or remain the same now in order to successfully answer that you need to understand what will be happening if we no longer have this resistor here if we no longer have this resistor you do understand that the 18 ohm and the 12 ohm resistor will now be connected in series but then uh, this means that we are adding the 12 ohm resistor into the series connection remember initially we only had the 18 ohm resistor in series but now we are adding another resistor in series now what do we know if we are adding resistors in series then that increases the effective resistance of the circuit or the total resistance of the circuit increases now if the total resistance of the circuit increases according to our relationship r is inversely proportional to current if this increases r then what happens to current the current must decrease that's what they're asking about if the six ohm resistor will the total resistance of the circuit increase decrease or remain the same so the total resistance okay they did not ask about current so it's only the total resistance so that's it it increases it increases so had they asked about the current you'd then say the current decreases because resistance increases but then they they only kept it at the total resistance so the total resistance increases because you are adding another resistor into the series connection but then uh, they did not want you to explain that did they no so all that took marks for just saying increase right but then had they wanted an explanation you'd say uh, adding adding a resistor in series increases the total resistance the total resistance of the circuit that's if they wanted a reason for that okay that's how you were supposed to go about answering this question so play the video as many times as possible so that you understand the approach that i took into answering this question and if you've been uh, if you have found this lesson helpful and enjoyable please press the thumbs up button and then most importantly please share the link with your friends and classmates so that they may also find assistance remember do not be selfish we are winning as a team